G'day everyone, Diesel here from Getting Around Oz, Camper Trailer Travelling. Thanks for joining us and thanks for tuning in today. Today's video is probably the best way I can describe it is this is us as a family. Uh, spend a day camping, what we get up to during the day when we're camping at the beach and this one we arrive at our location um, where we spend a bit of time and whoa, the broken ankle you have to watch and see for yourself and if you haven't already and you like what you see consider subscribing to our channel and like the video and love to hear what you think in the comments and uh, let me know what you think but if you haven't already make yourself feel comfortable grab a drink hope you enjoy it cheers it's that time of day Can you have some beer? Fortunately, Anita got bitten by a spider. Must have been last night or just before she went to bed, she started feeling sick and dizzy. Pretty nasty one. We're sitting around and having a drink last night and we realized we forgot a few things. Find somewhere we can buy these things and it's probably gonna be the last stop we're gonna see any shops for the next week or so. Very excited, we're just about to begin our drive in here. We strap yourselves in. We're just getting bogged and bogged and bogged and getting nowhere. And that's the view. So we're in Carnarvon. We're sitting around and having a drink last night and we realised we forgot a few things. And what we actually forgot was to grab hats. Clearly I grabbed old mate here, but hats for the kids and neats. <laughs> Just didn't think of it. Snorkeling gear is still sitting in the garage at home, so forgot all that. So we're actually just on a bit of a mission here now to find somewhere we can buy these things and get ourselves sorted because it's probably going to be the last stop we're going to see any shops for the next week or so. Plus, there's some markets up here. We didn't know we're here and as soon as Anita's seen them, she's like, oh, we're going to go there. Do we love markets early? No. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't capture it in GoPro unfortunately, but Hurley's broken his ankle. How's your ankle, buddy? Still broken? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's mum's back? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so anyway, he'll recover. Right, yeah, unfortunately they'll pretty much pack up the markets, but hell you managed to get a hat here. We're just going back to the car and oh, look at this. Yeah. How's your foot going mate? You okay? Still sore. That's pretty bad. Yeah. We're gonna go this way. Yeah. Yeah. When we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from. We're all sorted out now. The, the town of Carnarvon itself isn't a big place, but there's definitely enough shops here to drop in for supplies and get what you need. So we dropped in the surf shop and picked up snorkels for all of us and got a couple of hats for everyone. and. Yeah, the markets unfortunately were they were just sort of packing up as we left but managed to get a couple of things and Heli picked himself out a, a Sonic the Hedgehog hat which he was pretty happy about and so got himself a little necklace which was uh, a Mako shark too so sort of something he always likes to get he'll probably wear it for a week or so and then it'll sit somewhere but Nate's just in the shops now grabbing a couple of things and we'll uh, fuel up 
at the servo here and we'll probably grab some lunch at 12 o'clock here now. We still have another four hours of driving time, unfortunately. Radio, here we are, guys. Very excited. We're just about to begin our drive in here. We have just arrived at this sign here, which is the entry point to the Ningaloo Coast. So, so basically, this is the main road you come in when you're going up south, and that's where we are right now. So, that's the turn off the main road. That road goes up there to Exmouth. We're going in here, all the way in here, then we're going up here to South Lafroy Bay. That's where we're staying. And it's a bit windy, I'm gonna be honest with you, but strap yourselves in. We got the uh the drive in now, which is to do 70k's, it's gonna take us about two to two and a half hours apparently, and just let the tires down now. So going down to 30 psi on the on the rear and the trailer and 25 psi on the front of the car and we're gonna see how we go on that. I wanna drop too low. Let's bloody get into it. Right, yeah, unfortunately in a situation where someone's come down in a truck here where with a caravan that's not off road though. They're just getting bogged and bogged and bogged and getting nowhere. I'll turn the camera around in a sec so you can have a look, but we checked in just a bit back there. And uh yeah, it's a couple of us trying to get this poor bugger out. Rightio, so welcome to South of Froy. It's the next day here now. It's about 11 o'clock this morning and unfortunately, late yesterday, I think we only quickly captured the the on-road caravan that was stuck and unfortunately he was just dragging that thing for the next 50 meters or so. So it took a while to, to get him out and just had to keep digging probably every you know every 30 or 40 meters or so until he um, someone snatched him and dragged him out of there as well. Consequently, because we stopped, we were bloody bogged. Um, bogged twice i think once we got started yeah and maybe maybe a third time as well lost track and plenty of people ran to help which was great but unfortunately that poor bugger got some bad information he was told he could get in no worries with that thing but um anyone wondering it is seriously bulky getting in here so yeah look the road in here was oh it's definitely the the worst road that i've ever been on for me the best method for me was to to go a little bit faster so i was actually going over the top of the bumps it was definitely worse when i slowed down to you know sort of 30 odd k's um and be buggered if i'm going to sit on 30 k's for three hours most of it is just bloody terrible all the way right up until you you get in your check in and when you um check in with a the host there or the camp host sorry it sort of gives you a bit of a rundown and and go through a few things here with you. And unfortunately, went once we actually got into the bay here, which again was a serious bloody challenge. And I'll show you in a sec why. It was dark by the time we got set up and then as we were sort of feeling around throughout the night and those types of thing, it was too late and you know, it was, there was nothing to bloody film anyway. And even this morning, I've just been sort of running around and setting up everything, but everything's all bloody ready to go now. We're all good. And I must say, I'll flip around and show you this view here in a sec. The view is bloody amazing, I've got to say. Um, I'll show you some, I'll definitely show you all the, the negative parts of this experience. Don't worry, I'm not going to be talking up anything that isn't really awesome. But there's definitely some, some cons and definitely some things that we've done and we've got right. There's some things that we haven't quite got right. I've got a couple of panels out and sort of... I'm going to be testing those out over the next few days and and how they perform and those types of things but anyway enough of that bloody bad stuff in we're in here so so we've got the fridge in the back of the car this time and these panels i've got here unfortunately the windscreen isn't the best spot for it because this keeps blowing over so this is the atom power 300 water i've got out here it's charging up the camper trailer beautifully a nice long cable up here got the uh the shower set up on this one and it's also the outhouse of this one 
So this side was a little bit low, so I put the Max Tracks under the tire there just to prop it up a little bit. Something else I've done is put the jockey wheel on the other Max Tracks here because if you've been following us for a while when we were on our lap, uh, was it Duralia, Sta Duralia Station? I didn't do that and the jockey wheel sort of just sank down in the sand so when it come time to hook it up in the car I couldn't get the trailer high, high enough to get on there and I had to get the jack out and yep and this is us here so I got the Webby here to fire up some nice big roast ladder on now when you come out here if you come out here make sure you grab yourself a stack of bloody power sand pegs I did a quick run out of BCF the day before we left and grabbed another half a dozen and I was only just just right but what I've done as well is I grabbed these ones here so pegs in there and I got a this old spring here for a bit of slack and put all the ropes on there and it's all set up it is a little bit windier today I think it's gonna calm down in a couple of days it's not real windy it's just just windy enough to be a bit annoying but it'll be calm and then it'll pick up and be calm and same thing last night I was blowing a bit but it's all good I've got the side wall to this one here so we're not getting any breeze under the camper trailer and that's the view how bloody good alrighty so that's the road you come in we're on site 65 here so I can just drive past and this is the the road in here and I had to bloody just power it up here so when you drive in here it's like a roundabout basically now that we're set up and we'll bloody enjoy this the one thing I forgot to mention was using these um grub rugs here and this is the big rubber and those two custom made step ones and i'll tell you what it's a bit fancy for us but if you haven't got them you've been thinking about getting these grub rugs for your your steps or um just to wipe your feet on i recommend doing it. they're bloody fantastic but let me tell you it's very nice in your feet and the kids are transporting a lot less sand in there definitely not all of it because um, Hurley just loves to throw it up in the air and get it through his hair and everywhere. Well, I'll take you for a look at the beach here. Oh, how bloody good is this? The water didn't look like much this morning when we were first coming out, but as soon as the sun came up, just goes that nice turquoise colour. Alright, what's going on here, what? buddy? So what do you got there for lunch? Alright, have my all right have my lunch yep and what's this two minute noodles mate how, you, how do you like to have it just like this just like that that's yep. it yeah all right what's it taste like mate you want to take a bite out of it it tastes very good yummy don't talk with a mouthful <laughs> Use your hands, they don't all fall out by like this. Pretty good. Okay, lunch is all sorted out now and but right now we're just gonna head oh I don't know, maybe a few hundred meters up the, the track here. We'll see if we don't get bogged. Hopefully we don't, but we shouldn't. The tires are down to 12 psi. So when I got in here last night I, I came in at about 18, which was the recommendation of the camp host, but they weren't enough, that's for sure. As soon as I went down to 12 and then suddenly had a bit of traction and enabled me to get the camper trailer set up here. But we're just gonna go down there and join them for some drinks and we might drop down the beach there as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure the kayak's down there and we might jump in the water. And, and uh, Anita was down there a little bit earlier and said she swam up and seen a turtle there. So we'll see if we can't get out there and, and give you a look at them.
righty yo, so it's dinner time here now and having a swim down there is pretty fantastic and a, a couple of afternoon drinks was really nice. But it's dinner time now and it took a little while so this one here got the old chicken meatballs, we're actually going to put these in some wraps. I'll just give them a bit of a flatten down and nice hot pan. Noise you can hear in the background is the water pump so Neats and Zach are having a shower around the back there. We're going to fire up the Weber and cook up a roast tonight but we left it a bit late unfortunately. And the plan is tomorrow I'll actually set up the rods and we're actually going to have a flick. See if we can catch up a feed and it'd be nice to catch up something we can cook for you. So I know some of you have been asking about that. I feel like right now the, the wind has dropped off something fierce and it's bloody fantastic here. The, the sun is definitely warm, the water's fresh and uh, I think the weather is supposed to be really nice in a couple of days so actually get a calm day with bloody men out there and Yeah. Where's the brush? Where's the brush? Don't know, bro. You're asking the bloke who doesn't brush his hair. Where's the brush? Where's the brush? So, ingredients are. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> we'll put that in the video, will we? Yeah, we will. So, ingredients are wraps, some aioli, some cheese, and we'll yeah. jump in the fridge and we'll see what sort of. Greenage we have. So dinner's ready. A little chicken meatballs and these wraps here, so a bit of cheese and a bit of salt and a bit of aioli. That's really all we got. We don't have any lettuce or any of that sort of stuff here unfortunately. Salads are scarce, basically because out here in the heat, nothing nah, nothing lasts to be honest with you. A bit of salt, a bit of aioli. There we go, that's been a sorted for me and Zach and uh, that'll likely be us here for the night. Probably just gonna hang out and spend some time with the family and probably play some cars and those types of things and we'll likely catch up with them in the morning. <laughs> 